Hey, welcome to Maddie Makes. This is Crystal, and today I'm washing some alpaca. This is that beautiful alpaca that we picked through, which, mind you, wasn't much to pick through. It was a pretty clean fleece. I got rid of some hairy bits. There are still some guard hairs in the fiber, but not a lot, and what's left in here can easily be sorted um, out when I run it through the picker. Well, maybe I'll run it, maybe I'll just hand pick it um, and cart it up. There's a little bit of veggie matter in here and a few guard hairs left, but it is pretty clean. But it is full of dust because that's what those animals do, right? Alpacas roll in the dust. That's how they keep the bugs off of them. So we want them to do that, but we don't want it in our spinning, and I frankly cannot handle that texture on my skin when I spin. So we're going to use the bucket method. All right, for alpaca, we want to be very gentle. We don't need to scour. We don't need to use hot water. We don't need to use a detergent. Um, so currently, I have the buckets full of room temp water. It feels slightly warm when I put my hand in it. Just enough to get the soap going, to get the dust out of the fiber. You can use pretty much whatever you want. I have ye old body wash, you know. You can use baby shampoo, anything that's delicate. And I was just using little squirts here. Or I use the spoon and just fill up a little bit on the spoon. Let's see if I can do that one-handed. Spoon. And watch it go right into the bucket. Balance spoon. Ooh, make both hands work in unison. Little bit of soap on spoon. It doesn't take much, just enough to break the surface tension of the water. And stir in. We're not trying to create a lot of suds here. I'm just breaking down the soap into the water. I'm gonna put the bags inside. Both of these are gonna be the same, so. Same bags I was using for the wool washing. I did take them through my sewing machine and fix all those lovely holes that were being created though. All right, sorry for the filming. One hand on phone, one hand doing things. Okay, and then this is basically just over half a grocery bag full of fleece. And I'm gonna sort that between the two buckets just because I wanna wash two at the same time. Yeah. I had four pounds of fleece, so I need to wash a lot because there's still some in the bag. Yep, go in the wash again. Okay. But, you know, however you get it, that's what you have. I shake a little bit out, see, stuff's falling from it. Always a good idea to do a little bit of a shake. And then it goes in the water. Next bit. Stuff really likes to hold on to itself. Shake it out a little bit. Into the water. And again, the water's just room temp. You can make it as warm as you want it to be. But it doesn't, it's not breaking down any fat, so it doesn't need to be that warm. But I didn't want it cold because I didn't want to freeze my fingers and put my fingers in it. Shake, shake, shake. And it's so light and fluffy, it shakes itself apart. And just splitting it evenly between the buckets. A little bit left. If you notice large bits, you can always pick out stuff. All right. Then I take it back with a spoon and gently push. Let the fibers soak into the water. Gently push. And it should be fairly easy to push all the way down the bottom. 
you shouldn't feel a lot of resistance. If you do feel a lot of resistance, you have too much in your bucket because it needs to be able to move to get the soap and the water between the tufts of fiber. And the same with this one. Hopefully get you to see a little bit better on this one. Station gets big enough, I'll get a film crew, but until then. So yeah, there's barely little resistance. And if you feel real resistance in one spot, but none in another, you can just move it around. Uh, don't agitate too much, because alpaca will felt. It actually felts quite well. And I want to spin with this, so we don't want it to be felty at all. But pushing down with the spoon, or with whatever you have, uh, is not going to felt the fibers. There's that. I'm going to let them sit. So you can sit 10, 15 minutes. It doesn't take much. You just want the fibers to soak in the water and the soap to break down and pull out the dust and the debris, which when you pull that bag up, you'll see at the bottom of the bucket. So I am going to stick the lid on these and I'll see you in 10 minutes. Hello. So it's been over 10 minutes and the alpaca has been soaking in its soapy water from then. So trying to hold this up so you can see. It is very warm and sunny out here. I covered them up to keep things from falling in them. We have winds going on and the trees blow pine needles and what about. I did not want to pick out any more tree bits from the alpaca. So, yeah, some of the soap and dirt came to the, a little bit of foam at the top, but most of that dirt go to the bottom. I'm just stirring it up a little bit because sometimes it'll release just a little bit more. Like that. Then, I'm trying to hold this where you can see. Take the bag. Also, I like bags, it's easy. And that huge, you know, half the bag of fluff is now this little bitty doll ball at the bottom. Doesn't weigh a thing. See all the, the dirt coming out of it? That out. The other one. Ooh, this one got a little bit fuller. A bit more weight going on there. Into the strainer. Out. And there's not much there. So I'm going to put them all in one bucket for the rinse. So I'm going to stop it for a second and then I'll fill it up with um, just lukewarm room temperature water for the rinse. There we are, filled with lukewarm tap water. I like my fibers to smell good, so I'm going to use a little bit of clove oil. Just a few drops. You can use lemon, lavender, whatever you want your wool to smell like, or you can just leave it plain if you don't want to add any extra fragrance to it. I like the clove oil because it keeps some of the bugs away, and so will lavender. Stir that in. Then we already pressed the water out of these. So I'm just gonna put one on one side. Let it hang over. One on the other. Let it hang over. Use the spoon to get it in there and just push it from side to side a little bit. Just get the water in the bag and let the fibers expand. Oh, that's pretty. Okay. So learning how to do things with both hands so you can see. And we're just going to leave it for 10-15 minutes. 
let it rinse off the soap film and bring in that lovely clove smell. I'll see you in a few. Hi, welcome back. It's been 10 minutes and we've had the alpaca soaking in the clean water with just a little bit of clove oil in it. I'm gonna move them around a bit just to break loose anything else that's in there. This up. The water's pretty clean. If the water was still really dirty, I'd rinse them again. But this alpaca was not really dirty. It was just a little dusty, so you can get all there. Push that over. You want to push the water out. And at this point, you just need to dry it out enough to get it out on a rack to dry. Uh, you can put it into your washer just on the spin cycle, spin only, do not agitate or you'll have a felted ball. Um, you can roll it into a towel, press it down to get the extra water out, or I am going to put it in my birthday present, which is industrial salad spinner, which I have sitting on my dryer, which is why it's at a weird high angle. Weird, woo. To learn how to film over my head. Okay. So I just fluff them out a little bit. Now it needs to be up here so I can filter the water down. It has a hose coming out of it. See? That it runs into my utility sink. And that way I can stand in here and not in the hot heat. It's like in the 90s right now. So it's not horrible. It's not nice. So make sure everything's in there. I have fiber on my hands. That feels weird. All right, in there. I'm just shutting the door. Ooh, light changed. So let me put the lid on. Make sure everything's seated properly. And this is where I try to turn it with my hand. Even just that little bit of turning, see the water coming out. And boop, water coming out. Drip, drip, drip. It looked more impressive before I moved things. Okay. See the, turning the crank, you can see the bubbles. Close up, I'm gonna to need to hold it. <laughs> Fiber off my hand. <gasps> okay, that's not a view. There we go. Because this is entertaining television right here. about this you can turn it either way so once you turn it one way you can get your exercise and turn it the other way prepared for them so let's go outside and have them dry in the sunshine okay I have one drying out already so this is gonna pop up here these are just wire racks like you'd see in a department store the friend that was selling them worked out pretty good but if you go into a store it's going out of business they come in handy for a lot of things and they're small enough just to stack up on end in the garage so not bad 
So it's pretty mounded up together right now. It's stuck to my fingers again. So you just want to pick it up and shake it. That's like my answer to everything. Shake it. Get the clumps out. If you feel clumps, you see what I'm doing? Maybe just a little shake. We'll do that and lay it out. Let it sit for an hour or so, then come out and check on it. If you're having a windy day, you want to check on it a little bit more because I've had it blow off the table and land in the plants below, which, you know, yummy fiber covered lettuce. Not the greatest thing. So you actually want to check on it, make sure the wind does not blow it off the table. But that's also a good sign that it's dry because it's light and fluffy enough to blow off the table. So that's it. Once your fiber is all dry, bag it in something where it still gets some air to it. And like a pillowcase, something like that. And you're ready to process your fiber further. Thank you, fiber friends. Bye.